Hi everyone, so today I have a video with a ton of swimwear from Fashion Nova Curve, so I hope you like it, but I know a few of you guys are really gonna like it. As you can see, just a massive pile of swimwear and cover-ups. I wanted to really get a lot of everything, and as you can tell, there's a lot of color in here, so we'll hop right into it. Literally, we'll just see what falls in my hands. Okay, so the first one is this I guess a one piece, but it's a lot of cutouts. I love a swimsuit like this. I have one of these from Fashion Over Curve from probably three years ago. It's white on top, black on the bottom, and it has the same ties on the side. It looks so good, I love wearing it. I ended up getting a stain on the white part due to a cheap pool toy. So now I know to avoid those, but I do have like a random boob stain on it. I still wear it though because it looks so good. So when I saw this on their website, I was like, okay, perfect body that I know will work on my body. So it's in a little ribbed fabric with the cheetah print because I'm all about being a cheetah girl. Um, ties on the side, honestly, I think they're just for style. Like if this became undone, I think it's just fully attached by this panel here. So this I got in a 1X. I think the bottom has great coverage. I don't want to be constantly picking or adjusting myself in a bathing suit. So for most of these, you won't have to worry about that. So this is an easy pop it on. Know you look cute. I know this top looks a little thin, but it does cover massive boobs. <laughs> and usually I try and aim towards things that don't have hooks or snaps. So this is just a band in the back. So you're held in everywhere. Once you pop this on, you're good. I did just check all the prices. I got 10 items. Eight of them were under $30, so you're getting like a top and a bottom swimsuit for under $30. The other two were $34, so not a huge stretch. Also, Fashion Nova always runs promo, so you are not paying over $30 for any of this. Okay, next. I know this is bright, and honestly, it's brighter in person, but I'm really drawn towards these neons this season. It reminds me of when I was a kid, my mom would always put me and my sister in like bright, neon swimsuit so she could find us on the beach um but i just think they're really cute and it's something different so this is a top and bottom set very basic no cutouts no you know trims or anything nothing crazy going on but sometimes simple is good even though this is the color of a traffic cone so the bottoms are in a 1x again i have really good coverage here i barely have a butt though so most things are gonna just sit very nicely on it um but good coverage in the front gets my fupa, gets my gut, everything's held in, nothing is rolling or trying to escape anywhere, so good coverage, I feel held in. And then the top is like a basic bra top, again, there's no hooks or anything in the back, it's just a band, holds in my fat back boobs, and I think it's just a really good classic top. You're still gonna get good support, good coverage, there's no wires in here, but I felt held in and held up. And this top is also in a 1X. So again, with the extremely bright colors, I would say this is a, a highlighter yellow, maybe a green. Honestly, I can't, looking at this now, I'm like, what is happening? Let's go with green. I'll say green. So again, a top and a bottom, both for under $30 together. So this one is in a ribbed fabric, super cute. It does have this, um, it's already cut in the V shape. For someone like me who does not have a defined natural waist or like hips, I'm very much a barrel. Um, this gave me some shape, some dimension, and I know a lot of girls like to wear it like this. So since this already has the V cut, when you do hike it up, it's gonna look really defined. I'll probably just wear it regular and just have that nice little V. <laughs> Again, I'm really digging the very bright color. I try and have a little bit of everything. Like I have a swimsuit with lobsters on it. I have some basic blacks. And then you gotta have the fun colors. Like let's get real. Okay, this top part, also 1X. Gets a little cagey in the back. Like I mentioned, I do have pretty fat back boobs. So um, depending on placement and what I'm doing in the water that day, they could move, they could be like, blam, you know? So I am i don't care about that kind of stuff, but like, just be aware. Some people find it more so uncomfortable, you know? It's something you might dig in, but these are very wide straps back here, so I don't think it's gonna like really slice you in half. They're gonna just lay on top. Um, but I think it looks really cool when it's sitting nicely, but I especially run the risk of these just disappearing somewhere. But yeah, there's pretty thick straps. They're adjustable if you need it. It does have a zipper in the front. 
The zipper has an anchor all the way down, so you're not gonna completely unzip, um, but you will be pretty wide if you want to. So you can pretty much play with how much cleavage you wanna show. It does stay all the way up. I don't know if you're gonna go like halfway down if it's gonna stay there, it should, but if you wanna do fully zipped, it's gonna stay there and not budge all day. Okay, what is a Shannon Miller haul without a hot pink bathing suit? So I picked this up out of the package and I was like, wait, this is like weirdly asymmetrical. And then I put it on, I'm like, oh, this is a little weird. Had to consult the website. I'm like, what did I order? So this is a one shouldered bathing suit. So you can put it on, pop this really long strap over and you're gonna get a cool like cut out strap effect and it looks so cool. So good thing I consulted the picture or else I would have been like wonky boobed or whatever. It does have um, ruching on the side if you want, you can play with it. I just left it as is, but I thought this effect looked really cool. Um, really comfortable, I would think, you know, putting this over your neck, it would choke me or just be really uncomfortable rubbing, digging, but that was not the case. Also, if you need to adjust to make it longer, I have a pretty big head, but it got over there. Um, they do have adjustable straps, but I loved the effect this had. And I was a little afraid that this side would maybe show too much boob, but I felt very covered throughout. Also, um, none of these bathing suits have like boob support, so there's no wires, no shelving in a one piece, but I still felt like really good. My boobs were not around my waist. I have been pretty lucky in one department of my life, and it's that my boobs are naturally pretty perky, so I gotta toot my own horn there because we all know how unlucky I am in other aspects in other aspects of my life as I hit myself in the head. So just three cheers for my perky boobs, but I did feel like they weren't getting dragged down. I think we have all had that feeling of a maybe a swimsuit that's not exactly long enough, that's kind of dragging us down. Not the case in any of these. And this I got in a 2X just to give myself more surface area. I tend to do that in one pieces. Okay, this is so cute. This is one of the first items I put in my cart this time around just because I immediately loved it. And this one is gonna catch you a man at the pool this summer. So um, I would say this is like taupe. It's, I thought it was pink, but it's definitely more so of a tan brown kind of a color. I really like it. So the top, Again, basic bra top, but it has thinner straps. So a spaghetti strap here, band in the back. Um, I did feel like this one was very booby. I was still covered, but it definitely gave me better cleavage than most of the other swimsuits. So like I said, this is the one that's gonna catch you a man at the pool, the lake, the beach, wherever you go. So this I got in a 2X. I would say this set runs a little small. So this is in a 2X and I was busting out all over. The bottom part is a little out of my comfort zone. I do have to say this belt, super cute, but this is um, very high cut. So you're gonna need um, a weed whacker if you're like me. And it does have a thinner cut on the back, but like I said, I don't really have a butt, so it's still covered most of me. But if you have an ass, it's gonna look real good in this, um, but you're not gonna get that like full coverage that me at 89 years old tends to go for. And this one is definitely made for that like hiked up look. So if you wanna go for it, this is the perfect cut to do that. So the bottoms are also in a 2X, but like I said, if you wear this out, you will have a boyfriend by the end of the day. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Last swimsuit before we get to the cover-ups. And this was the very first thing I put in my cart. This is so cute. So a navy and white striped one piece with the cutout. So nautical, so summer, like this is the perfect bathing suit in my head. Um, I do have a few of this style um, from Fashion Nova over the years. So a one piece that's attached at the sides, tie up boobs. We know I love that. It's a fake tie up. So in case that becomes undone, you're still good. So there's a stomach cutout, but you can really place where you want this. It does have the ability to be a higher waisted bottom if you want it to. Again, good butt coverage. My checklist for a good bathing suit is, do my boobs look good? Is my ass out? Anything after that doesn't really matter. While this is my favorite bathing suit of the bunch, the one caveat is it has my least favorite enclosure. So when I put this on, it kind of, it didn't come undone, but it was hanging on for dear life like this, like by a thread. And I don't love that. It's gonna come undone or I'm gonna be looking like this, 
you know, like looking like it might come undone, which I think is more embarrassing. <laughs> um, if it did come undone, you wouldn't like completely fall because you have the straps. Um, but I truly, truly hate a back enclosure like this. And part of me is like, do I just get like industrial strength Velcro or like <laughs> pop this under the sewing machine for eight seconds and hope for the best. But I, like I said, I really want to love this. Style-wise, my favorite bathing suit I think I own right now, but this back enclosure is gonna hinder me from wearing it too often. So I gotta figure something out. Um, this is my only caveat because other than that, like, this is so freaking cute. Even this with like a denim skirt or denim shorts walking around all summer, this is gonna look so cute too. So I gotta figure something out. Don't like the back, but everything else is A plus, and this one is in a 1X. Okay, next, just some cover-ups. I only have one cover-up right now, and it's an old dress I used to wear to work. So I was like, maybe I need more actual beach cover-ups. And I feel like this is the classic woman staring at a body of water cover-up. Like, so beachy. Um, obviously, it's gonna be see-through, but you're gonna just be wearing this to and from your car, maybe popping in some, hello, Betty. Um, you know, for beach cover-up purposes. I'm not gonna go to the mall in this. Um, but that perfect light, that's what I'm aiming for, a light cover-up. I don't wanna feel, especially when you're wet, I don't wanna feel things on me, grosses me out. So I went for the 2X in this, wanting it to be big and billowy, and it was. I also think I could have gotten a 1X and had the same effect. So I would say get your normal size, um, but you can size up if you really want that like what am I doing? Beach ghost effect. But yeah, when I think swim cover up, this is what I'm picturing. Okay, this one could be a beach cover up or it could just be like going out where, where am I going? Who knows? But I think this could function over a bathing suit or as an outfit. So it's a big mesh t-shirt, could be a dress if you want it to, with embroidery on it. So freaking cute. I got this in a 2X. Again, I could have went for the 1X, but I really wanted something oversized, um, but I think a 1X would still do that because this is cut oversized to begin with. I saw someone wear something similar to this with a black bralette and black bike shorts, but like the shorter ones, like booty shorts. It looks so cute. Also just regular denim shorts and this cascading over them. I think that would be so cute too. So this has a few different possibilities. So this did come down if I were to wear shorts, it would come down and meet the shorts at the bottom. So like mid calf. Um, but you can really play with it. If you wanted to wear it as a tunic with a tank top underneath and leggings, you could do that. So this has a lot of possibilities. Okay, this one is a big old tie-dye t-shirt dress. And this was styled on the website on the model with a leather jacket. And it looked really cool. So once I got it, I was like, oh, this is one of those like big t-shirts. Um, so it looked a little like boxy on me, like the sleeves, you know, as if I'm wearing one of my dad's t-shirts and I'm eight years old kind of a thing. So then I was like, okay, this could be, again, beach cover up. I need to run to my car, I'll pop this on. But then I put a denim jacket with it and it became something. The jacket helps tie the look together. Like you're not just wearing a huge shirt, it's now a cute dress under a jacket. I don't know what kind of magic the jacket did, but it looked like a real outfit once I put the jacket on. So I think this denim jacket, white sneakers is a look. This leather jacket and boots is a look. Um, but I think this on its own, I was like, oh, okay. Pajamas or a beach cover up. I did want to mention the front of this comes pre-distressed because I saw like a few holes, but they're all like, strategically placed and I was like, oh my God, something ate my package. But because I saw many and that they were all like perfectly shaped, it's pre-distressed. And then I looked at the website and yeah, it was pre-distressed. So don't worry, there's not a little critter in your package. I also think this lends itself to crafting opportunities. So if you wanted to like do some cutouts on your own, this is the shirt to do it with. Okay, finally, this is not a cover up, but I saw this and I thought it was really cute and definitely something different. Like, do I own anything in this color? No. So it's not gonna look good in my hands. You're gonna see it on body. It's a cutout dress. So skirt part down here and then a top part here with a racer back. So I had to be very particular about my bra and I only have one racer back bra. So I should probably do a bra haul soon and get the things that I need. But I think this is so cute. Definitely like resort wear. So I should probably plan a trip. I am planning a cruise probably like November, December. 
I have to accrue my vacation time, so it's gonna be a while. So at the end of the year, I'm hoping to go on a cruise and wear this, because I think this is so cute. Like, fun and flirty, something different, a fun color. It has the cutouts, so on the front panel, I feel covered here, but then on the side is the cutout. So it's something different, and you're not hanging out everywhere. I'm also really big on theme parties, so I'm hoping someone has like a Powerpuff Girl themed party because I'm ready. I'm ready to be bubbles, guys. So I also tend to buy things with costume purposes in mind. And this one I got in a 1X. It is super stretchy, a little short in the back, but again, I'm going to be wearing it on vacation or at a party, so don't have to really worry about that. But oh, forgot to mention, it's a skirt, so there's shorts in here. So you don't have to worry about flashing anyone if you do a cartwheel. But when someone's ready to have a Cartoon Network party, call me. I'm ready. Okay, that is everything. A lot of color, a lot of different styles. I really like everything. This is one of those hauls where it's a 10 out of 10. So as usual, all those items will be linked down below. All my sizes will be down below. For mostly everything, I got a 1X, but I'll note the sizes next to anything that I did get a 2X in. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're a man watching this, my Venmo is always open. Um, but anyways, I have a ton of swim content coming up. So if you like this, there's a lot more coming. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.